Good morning. Let us welcome each other as we turn to the people around us. And at the beginning of this day, let us also take a moment to open our hearts to God who invites us into this celebration. And let us keep in mind and heart our continuous prayers for the people of Ukraine. And as we have consecrated both Ukraine and Russia, we pray that our Blessed Mother Mary may intercede truly for peace. Let us remember <clears throat> to lift up families that are struggling, praying for those who are serving in the front lines and first responders. And today, Tuesday of the fourth week of Lent, our entrance song is Rain Down. Rain down, rain down, rain down your love on your people. Rain down, rain down, rain down your love, God of life. <clears throat> Faithful and true is the word of our God. All of God's works are so worthy of trust. God's mercy falls on the just and the right. Full of God's love is the earth. Rain down, rain down, rain down your love on your people. Rain down, rain down, rain down your love, God of life. <coughs> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. <clears throat> As we gather in this celebration, may the mercy and compassion of God rain down upon our lives. You send living waters to heal those in need. Kyrie Eleison. Kyrie Eleison. You invite us to walk away from sin. Christe Eleison. Christe Eleison. Lead us to everlasting life. Kyrie Eleison. Kyrie Eleison. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. May the venerable exercises of holy devotion shape the hearts of your faithful, O Lord, to welcome worthily the Paschal mystery and proclaim the praises of your salvation. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The angel brought me, Ezekiel, back to the entrance of the temple of the Lord, and I saw water flowing out from beneath the threshold of the temple toward the east, for the facade of the temple was toward the east. The water flowed down from the right side of the temple, south of the altar. He led me outside by the north gate and around to the outer gate facing the east, where I saw water trickling 
from the right side. Then when he had walked off to the east with a measuring cord in his hand, he measured off a thousand cubits and had me wade through the water, which was ankle deep. He measured off another thousand and once more had me wade through the water, which was now knee deep. Again, he measured off a thousand and had me wade. The water was up to my waist. Once more, he measured off a thousand, but there was now a river through which I couldn't wade, for the water had risen so high it had become a river that couldn't be crossed except by swimming. He asked me, have you seen this son of man? Then he brought me to the bank of the river where he had me sit. Along the bank of the river, I saw very many trees and both on both sides. He said to me, this water flows into the Eastern district down upon the Arabah and empties into the sea, the salt waters, which it makes fresh. Wherever the river flows, every sort of living creature that can multiply shall live. And there shall be abundant fish, for wherever this water comes, the sea shall be made fresh. Along both banks of the river, fruit trees of every kind shall grow. Their leaves shall, may, shall not fade, nor their fruit fall. Every month they shall bear fresh fruit, for they shall be watered by the flow from the sanctuary. Their fruit shall serve for food and their leaves for medicine. The word of the Lord. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. The Lord of hosts. God is our refuge and our strength, an ever-present help in distress. Therefore we fear not, though the earth be shaken and mountains plunge into the depth of the sea. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. There is stream whose runlet gladdened the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. God is in his midst, it shall not be disturbed. God will help it at the break of dawn. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. Come, behold the deeds of the Lord, the astounding things he has wrought on earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold in the God of Jacob. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. A clean heart create for me, O God. Give me back the joy of your salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. There was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. <clears throat> Now there in Jerusalem at the Sheep Gate, a pool called in Hebrew Bethsaida, with five porticos. In these lay a large number of ill, blind, lame, and crippled. One man was there who had been ill for 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he had been ill a long time, he said to him, Do you want to be well? 
The sick man answered him, Sir, I have no one to put me in the pool when the water is stirred up. While I am on my way, someone else gets down there before me. Jesus said to him, Rise, take your mat, and walk. Immediately the man became well and took up his mat and walked. Now that day was a Sabbath, so the Jews said to the man who was cured, It is the Sabbath, and it's not lawful for you to carry your mat. He answered them, The man who made me well told me, Take up your mat and walk. They asked him, Who is this man who told you, Take it up and walk? The man who healed did not know who, he, who it was, for Jesus had slipped away since there was a crowd. After this, Jesus found him in the temple area and said to him, Look, you are well. Do not sin anymore, so that nothing worse may happen to you. The man went and told the Jews that Jesus was the one who had made him well. Therefore, the Jews began to persecute Jesus because he did this on a Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. So where were you in 1984? Okay, well, some of you probably were not even born yet, but the, for others, we may remember that um, Ronald Reagan was president and he actually won his second election. We had the Summer Olympic Games in Los Angeles and my oldest child was born. But we think about that, where were we 38 years ago? We hear in today's gospel that the man Jesus found had been ill and for 38 years, the time as the equivalent of going all the way back to 1984, he came every day to the pool hoping for a chance to be healed. So Jesus asks him a very interesting question. He says, do you want to be well? And at first we sit there and go, well, duh. But there's a reason why I think Jesus may have asked that question. Because that man had become so focused on that the only way he could be healed was in those waters. He saw no other path to his healing. He no longer thought that it was God's mercy, but limited God that the only way he'd be healed was to walk in those waters. And so that's why Jesus asked, do you want to be healed? Because Jesus gave him a different path. He said, rise, take up your mat, and walk. As I reflected on that beautiful image of the dream of Ezekiel in our first reading, where God's love, God's mercy, the water flowing from the temple, at first Ezekiel only saw a trickle. And over the length of the image, it became like a torrent river. In many ways, we only see a little glimpse of God in our lives. Sometimes we only think that it's like that little trickle of water that was flowing in the temple, not realizing that God's mercy is really bigger and more than a raging river in our lives. So you and I come back to that question. Do we want to be healed? Now, thinking back to 1984, I think of the many ways my relationship with God has changed in 38 years. For those of you who are not, been, who are not even born in 1984, maybe think about the ways God has touched you throughout your life. And we recognize that sometimes we don't recognize the full presence of God. Maybe we can only dip our toe into it or wade up to our ankles. But God's inviting us to be totally immersed in his love and in his mercy. As I was reflecting on the image of the first reading, I could not help but think of divine mercy. The, the, the images that we celebrate on Divine Mercy some Sunday, where the blood and water flowing from the side of Christ. 
recognizing the love and mercy we have for us. So whatever we have in our lives, let's not limit God to just our one perception. Let's not be like the man who spent 38 years waiting, but let's constantly look for where is God in our lives? And then we will see a large river from which all life comes, the life that we have. And as we heard in the song today, that the Lord, <clears throat> that the Lord is gracious, the Lord is merciful, and in our time of distress, the Lord always is walking with us. The better we know God, the more we realize our total dependence on Him. Aware of our limitations, we pray in our helplessness to God the Father. Our response, Divine Healer, lift us up. Divine Healer, lift, lift us, us up. That the leaders of the church may give their lives unsparingly in the service of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Healer, lift us up that we may have the generosity of heart to offer ourselves and grow in our need to follow Christ, who is meek and humble of heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine healer, lift us up. That we may have the true spirit of humility in our dealings with the poor and the oppressed, and that we may recognize the presence of Christ in them. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Healer, lift us up. That the sick may find love and support from those who care for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Healer, lift us up. That those who have gone ahead of us may be united with God in his kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Healer, lift us up. Lift up to the Lord the intentions and petitions we hold in our hearts for our families and our loved ones. And we pray for the intentions for whom this Mass is offered, the eternal repose of Alma Delia Hurtado Valdez and the SDC Parish family. We pray to the Lord. Divine Healer, lift us up. And for the intentions we have received, praying in thanksgiving with Wayne and Lily Ellis, and Gladera, Gladela Gallardo, and lifting up for healing, comfort, and strength, the Moreno family, Christian De Leon, Silverio Castro, and Joseph Simmons. We pray to the Lord. Divine healer, lift us up. We also lift up our dearly departed Julia de Dios, Jose Luis Moreno, and Merle Wilcots and Michael Fahey. We also remember the intentions we have placed in the Ark of Prayer chest. We pray to the Lord. Divine Healer, lift us up. Lord God, Father of the poor, conscious of our weakness and our pride, hear the request of your needy people. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, to become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, to become our spiritual drink. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer to you, O Lord, these gifts which you yourself have bestowed. May they attest to your care as creator, for this is our mortal life and effect in us the healing that brings us immortality through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through bodily fasting you restrain our faults, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its rewards through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and all the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaoth, Plenis Uncheli et Terra, Gloria Tua, Hosanna in excelsis, Benedictus, qui venit in nomine Domini, O Sahana in excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given out for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
Tell me history of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, Santiago de Compostela, and with all the saints on his constant intercession in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. With the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, your servant Francis, our Pope, Kevin, our Bishop, Timothy, Thomas, and Todd, his brother, bishops, the order of bishops, all the priests, deacons, religious, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, a merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with the many in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit let us offer each other the sign of peace peace be with you peace, peace be with you. you peace be with you may the make your body and blood of our lord jesus christ bring eternal life to those who receive it how you stay qui tolis peccata mundi Miserere nobis, agnus dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis, agnus dei, 
qui tolis peccata mundi, dona nobis pace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Communion Antiphon. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Fresh and green are the pastures where he gives me repose. Near restful waters he leads me. Body of Christ. Amen. And now in solidarity with our sisters and brothers who are worshiping with us online and those who are unable to receive our Lord Jesus sacramentally, we pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Purify our minds, O Lord, we pray, and renew them with this heavenly sacrament, that we may find help for our bodies now and likewise in times to come, through Christ our Lord. And we pray to our loving Mother, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And to Saint Joseph, Hail, Guardian of the Redeemer, Spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to you God entrusted his only Son, in you Mary place her trust. We do Christ with secure and safe. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a father and guide us through the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. Saint Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. And may God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, cast unto hell Satan, and all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. Grant, O merciful God, that your people may remain always devoted to you and may constantly receive from your kindness whatever is for their good through Christ our Lord. Amen. And will mighty God bless all of you and your loved ones, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Our recessional song is I Has Not Seen. I has not seen, ear has not heard what God has ready for those who love him. Spirit of love, come give us the mind of Jesus. Teach us the wisdom of God. When pain and sorrow weigh us down, be near to us, O Lord. Forgive the weakness of our faith and bear us up within your peaceful word. Has not heard what God has ready for those who love him. Spirit of love, come give us the mind of Jesus. Teach us the wisdom of God. Have a blessed day, everyone. So Wayne, we come here with the lily for your wedding anniversary blessing.